Hi everyone, welcome to Shanti Niketan and today I am in for something really fun which I enjoy doing which is visiting the local markets here. There is this weekly market which happens every Saturday and it's more commonly called the Saturday Hut and that is exactly where I am headed to right now. It is known to have a lot of uh, local artisans who come there, they display their work, there is jewellery, clothing, handloom items and a lot more that you can discover there. So I am super excited to get into this market and see what's there to offer. It's open the entire day but you would probably want to finish off before 6pm to avoid the rush and also wear covered footwear to make it easier for you to move around. So without spending too much time, let's go inside and let me show you what all is available at this market. So this hut is locally known as the Sona Churi hut and it is one of the most unique cultural gatherings that one can witness in their lifetime. The location of this hut is about three hours away from the capital city of West Bengal, Kolkata. And as far as timings are concerned, there isn't any hard and fast timing rule, but it does take place in the afternoon of Saturdays and it continues till sunset. People from the city of Kolkata and near suburbs are regular visitors for this fair. You can easily reach here by car or train from Kolkata. As soon as I entered this hut, I could see the display of colors and handicrafts all around me. There were so many things on offer that would really catch your eye. Look at these bags that I found. They were so beautiful and colorful and they were very decently priced too, between 100 to 300. This was one of the pouches that my friend was looking at and I think the lady quoted us about 200 rupees for it. So yeah, I think it's a great deal for the amount that you are paying. It also has a lot of options and colors. There were also a lot of other bigger bags in case if you need something bigger to take along to the office. Now this was another set of bags which really caught my eye because they looked so different and I really wanted to know what is the kind of costing but before that I looked at these pouches which a lot of ladies were picking for themselves and these were very decently priced at 100 rupees. Uh, again a great pick for as a souvenir item to give away to your friends. Next we looked at these beautiful handmade jewellery, there were necklaces of different kinds, they were so beautifully done, these were made of beads and strings of different colours and you also had these earrings which would match perfectly with those necklaces. You could also witness bowl singers here sitting in different areas and singing melodiously while you shop around the hut. I was really looking at these bags so I had to come back here for this big one and I checked the pricing and I think it was about seven to eight hundred that was being quoted and finally I took one of these red ones which came for seven hundred. Next I moved around and you can see a lot of these suit pieces and fabric of different colors and designs with a lot of embroidery work which you can take and create your own design pieces. Overall, you can keep moving around. It's a beautiful area. There are so many artisans. They have spread out their work here. There are different things that you can buy. There are interesting items like this, which was a hair accessory that you could take for yourself. Again, decently priced between 20 to 40 rupees. Found these lamps, which were again painted and they looked so pretty. These were again some souvenir items which you could collect, woodwork done by the artisans here. Now this is another interesting item that I came across while walking. It was also very decently priced. The bigger chairs were actually 1000 rupees and the smaller stools, a pair costed 1200. I'm sure a bit of bargaining could have also been done. Next, I kept moving around and these are the colourfully painted tables and stools that I came across. Again, stools were about 400 each and the tables were quoted at 700. 
a great deal i feel for the kind of craftsmanship you were getting walking around you can tend to get hungry so there are some spots here where you can stop by for some refreshments but do remember this area there's a bit of patchy network issue so i wasn't being able to make phone calls so just keep a check when you're here too moving ahead i saw some notebooks and diaries being sold for 100 rupees a very good souvenir item reasonably priced Finally we moved ahead and I came to this shop where the lady had a wide variety of sarees which we purchased for ourselves. Here are some more that is being displayed and these were all very pretty. It was ranged again around 5 to 600 rupees. There were also bed sheets being sold. Next we saw these quilts being sold and these were again looking very pretty because they had a lot of variety here of different colors that you could pick from, a lot of designs that you can see here as they are being displayed and these were again being asked for 1000 to 1200 rupees. Again as I said a bit of bargaining was happening across the board. So finally, yeah, that was the entire visit to the heart. This is how the heart looks. Uh, this is me moving out now. There were a lot of uh, dancers who were ready for their performance. Uh, I hear that that happens during the heart timings too. But yeah, it was a great experience seeing all of this. So do let me know too if you are planning a visit here and comment and let me know if you found some interesting finds here at the heart. And if you did enjoy watching this video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.